So like Pat said, we were feeling pretty strong, feeling pretty good, maybe a little overconfident. Um, but after five months of moving, something really changed. Um, the first thing that changed was the weather. Not that we'd had great weather the whole time, but it became really, really bad. We had about, I don't know, four weeks straight of rain or snow every single day. Um, so that obviously left us really wet and cold and also meant that all the creek crossings we were doing became really difficult and really stressful. Um, and then we sort of relied on having wood for cooking dinner and, and eating at night. And all the, the willow and alder, which is basically all that was available in this sort of high country, got so saturated that we really didn't have much luck with that at all. And then <coughs> to make matters worse, uh, we had a really terrifying experience with a predatory bear. And this bear doesn't look like it in the picture. It looks kind of cute. Uh, it's probably the scariest bear that I've ever met. Um, sort of heard, you know, in bear training, we both worked in, uh, traveled in bear country for a lot of years and obviously encountered a lot of other bears on this particular trip. Um, and sort of heard about classic predatory behaviors, but it was really shocking to me just how obvious that was when we encountered it. Um, so we were walking through this pretty thick, brushy section, had just come out into a more open area, and I heard this little bit of rustling in the brush behind me, and I didn't think that much of it, but I turned to look, and as I did, I saw this, this bear, it's actually a black bear, um, running toward me. It was only about 15 feet away when I spotted it, and all I had time to do was to throw my hands up in the air and to shout and hope that it would recognize that I was a person if it hadn't already. Um, or at least kind of give it a moment's pause. And luckily that worked um, partially because the bear did stop about five feet from me, but instead of running the other direction like I was hoping, it just kind of stood sideways, and which can be kind of a, a, a little bit of an aggressive posture. And by this time, of course, Pat had realized what was going on, and so we both had our bear spray out and were just kind of standing there, waiting to see what the bear's next move would be and then waiting to decide what we should do. Um, and the bear did sort of slowly saunter off, but in a very unconvincing way. And so we kept our eyes on it, um, having realized that if, the, if it came up from behind us, it was almost certainly stalking us. And so uh, this turned into about a half an hour standoff with the bear circling back around again and again and approaching us to within a few feet. Um, and we ended up spraying it with bear spray. We threw our poles at it. We hollered at it. We did everything we could think of to try to sort of make ourselves the aggressor because it was really obvious that if we didn't, the bear was looking for an easy meal. Um, so it ended up okay. The bear finally sort of slowly wandered off and we took the opportunity to get out of there quickly and were able to hop into a river and boat away and actually you know, cover some ground pretty quickly. But it, it sort of changed how we felt a little bit about bears after being so comfortable in this landscape for so long. Um, you know, we've met a very bad bear and sort of had to be thinking about that a lot more in the future. And then our next big problem was snow. So in the Western Brooks, we had quite a lot of passes that we had to get up and over.